you know, rarely I sit here and think, I wonder if I can get the recipe for that. I want to know how this is made. And then make a bath of it. It's fantastic. Andrew. Yeah. Are we on target? Uh, Pip should be. Just waiting on the fish. I'm going to play everything else up and then that'll be last one. Smells amazing. Is that everything? That's it. Best plates through. Hi. Today I have made for you pan fried fillet of cod with uh, pork scratching and paprika crust, chorizo and samphire, some pallored clams and some charred corn and a sweet corn velouté to finish off. Thank you. I like the look of this. There's a sort of boldness to it. There's a confidence to it. There's a point where we're meant to stop and say something clever about the food, but then when something like this turns up, we just want to eat it. No, I'm not going to say anything. Mm. <laughs> We've got this fantastic um, piece of fish, which is cooked to perfection, so you've got those thick, muscular flakes of cod that come apart in a very succulent and juicy way. That crunch just works with the fish perfectly. You've got those wonderful clams around the edge, which just add a bit of texture, a bit of some juicy bite. The killer thing is this sweet corn velouté. You know, rarely I sit here and think, I wonder if I can get the recipe for that. I want to know how this is made, and then make a bath of it. It's fantastic. It's a sweet, simple whole that works beautifully. I'm really impressed with this dish. I think the velouté is fantastic. Andrew's dish packs flavour, and I love the different textures that he's accomplished on here. So, 15 minutes for your dessert. How's that looking? Good. On time? Yes, chef. Wonderful. Milk chocolate, peanut and banana. Who knows what that's going to be? It will not be simple when it comes out. I think there's going to be some real temperature differences there, maybe some hot banana and very cold peanut. So I'm excited about that, if a bit baffled. Andrew, we've got a couple of minutes left. How are you doing? I'm there, Chef. I'm ready to go. You ready? Yes, Chef. You go, then. Ooh. Wow. Today, I've made for you a peanut butter panna cotta, milk chocolate ganache, caramelised banana, crystallised peanuts, a peanut crumble and a banana milkshake. Lovely. Thanks. Thank you. It's playful. It's funny. You look at it and you go, ah, 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 and you think, I'm in safe hands. Mm. The biggest issue I've got is with that peanut panna cotta, which I think just slightly doesn't taste enough of peanut. I would like a bit more kick and a bit more of a sort of nutty twang. <laughs> and well, you're, I think you're wrong. I completely disagree with you. Any more peanuttiness in it, and it would be too nutty. I think it's subtle, I think it's really clever. The ganache is just perfect. And then there's this lovely thing. I mean, I haven't had a, a banana milkshake for years, and I love it. What I love most of all is just the sense of how to take three ingredients and riff on them and have some fun.